Hi guys, my name is Ethan and I'm a member here at MCC and an active member of MCC Youth. So obviously today's been a great day talking about youth empowerment and how youth has, youth has made an influence in all of our lives. We've just heard a great word from Maria talking about how youth has showed her to live for Christ and to not live for the world. Well, you're about to learn a little something from me on how youth has made an astronomical influence in my life and my relationship in Christ. So to start off, youth has always been a fun and safe space for myself and many others. It's a place where we were able to really find our true selves in a time where our brain is literally going under construction. <laughs> uh, youth has always been a fun place and I, for myself, has been able, have been able to find my identity and been able to grow through Christ, all because of youth. But once the pandemic we know as COVID-19 came around, a lot of the stuff I thought I once had, a lot of the stuff I had once built, had fallen. And I didn't know where I would be able to stake my fork in the ground, where I could rebuild everything that I had lost. And because of COVID-19, a good portion of us had gotten knocked down without any sight of knowledge of what to do. And I started to question a lot of things, including my faith. And I even started to take a couple steps away from it. But I still went to youth because it's still a place where I had a lot of friends. But when you start asking questions continuously, you start to look for answers. And I started to be way more attentive than I usually was during youth. And in youth, I learned that I can always find and know that Jesus will always be there for me, that he will always remain constant, and he's not something that's constantly going to be changing. So you showed me that, that I can build my foundation through Christ. And one, one verse that really stuck out to me through a lot during COVID-19 was the parable of two builders, where Jesus was telling a story where he said, therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on rock. But everyone who hears these words in mind and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. You showed me that I, instead of putting my faith and hope into things that were constantly changing, things that I once thought were certain but then turned into variables, I could put it into Christ. And as I continue to go to youth, and as I continue to pay attention, I come to realize that, in reality, youth was my foundation. Youth was the rock that helped me build my house, helped me build my relationship with Christ. That if I stopped going to youth, I probably wouldn't be on this stage right now. I don't know where I would be in my walk with Christ. So through youth, I was able to build a house with a strong foundation, a house that wouldn't fall again. Yeah. <laughs> One of the messages we, we learned a lot during youth was about redefining ourselves, not letting our past selves affect our future selves. And as a person who just come back from a journey about walking away and walking back, it stuck out to me. A lot of people like myself who've gone through that journey might think that once we've walked away, it's already too late for us to go back and that there's no choice, but we just have to keep walking away and that we can't be led back to Christ which is completely wrong. And that's what redefining was all about, that not letting our old selves, our old philosophies affect our future. Not letting our old selves affect our future selves. And it was all about going through Christ and bettering ourselves. So as about redefining myself, I started to pay attention and I started to obviously make a difference in my life. And I've come to learn that I don't have to be perfect to be worthy of the love of Christ. In fact, I can be far from it, and the love nothing can stop the love of Christ from chasing me. So a parable that stuck out to me when we were called, when we were called to redefining was about the parable of the farmer who sowed seeds. So from Matthew 13 verses 1 to 8, it talks about saying that the, that same day Jesus went out of, the, of his house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him, and he got into a boat and sat in it. All the people stood on the shore, and then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering his the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came up and ate it. Some fell in rocky places where it did not have much soil, sprang up quickly, but the soil was shallow. And when the sun came out, the plants were scorched and withered, because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorn, thorns, which grew up and choked the plant. 
but still other seed fell on good soil, which were able to produce a crop 100, 60, or 30 times more what was sown. And anything that comes in our life, we can choose if we want to listen to it or not. And if we do listen, we can choose whether we want to put it into practice. This was everything that went through my mind when I learned about redefining myself. I paid attention a lot, and that's where I was able to understand that no matter how many times I fall down or walk away, I can always walk back. That Jesus will always be there for me. He'll always be at the door, so long as I'm willing to open it. <laughs> Some way, somehow, every week I'd have a different battle to fight. And youth every week would have the perfect message for me that I can always put into my life, put into different aspects. And, you, and that's what's so great about youth, that even if you're not big on the religious aspect of youth, you can still learn some great wise words that will still make an influence in your life. Even if you haven't met Jesus yet, or you're still questioning stuff like I once was, youth will help you find Jesus again. Youth will always be there every Friday where you can learn and connect with Jesus. Have a bridge. Youth helped me understand that through tough times, no matter how many times I fell, God was always there. So even though both of these parables could be contradictory to each other, it still means, it still meant a lot to me that youth was my rock to build my foundation, to build my relationship with Christ. But it was also the soil for me to be able to learn and to grow. Does that mean it'll be it for you too? You'll never know unless you actually give youth a try. It's different for everybody, and for me, it was perfect for the time that I needed it. And it may not be your foundation, but it will help you find Christ when you need it. It will always be there for you, and I can guarantee you, going to you will help you build some form of a relationship with Christ. It's a great place. It, it was a great place that I met a lot of people who were at the same point in my life. Even now, when we meet every Friday from 7 to 9 on Zoom meetings, we're always complaining about school or just how bad this lockdown's been. But yeah, I encourage you guys to give youth a try. And if you're on the fence about joining youth, I promise you it will not disappoint you. Because when I was at my lowest points, and when I could say hit rock bottom, youth was there for me, and youth showed me the way.